how to create a screen full like this that has a, an indicator. Um, uh, this is really um, helpful uh, for your users, especially if you want to show them their uh, progress. Um, if they are, if you are going to be creating a screen flow with multiple screens. So in order to create um, a screen flow like this, first is you need to download this component from the App Exchange. It's called Dynamic Flow Progress. And in here, um, you will see these are the six options that you will have. You will have the vertical indicator type, horizontal, the progress bar, the ring indicator, and the path, as well as the vertical navigation menu. So let's start. So for this demo, I created, I added four screens. And I'm just going to scroll down um, and drag the dynamic flow progress. And let's just call this AI. And then for this um, here, um, you would create a constant. Um, constant variable or constant variable constant and this is um, where you will indicate the steps um, you could um, either use uh, steps one two three or you could do uh, new in progress completed um, it depends how you want to name your stages so for this one i'm just going to call them i'm just going to call this uh, steps And I'm going to use text as data type. I'm going to do step one, step two, step three, step four. And then click done. And here, since this is the first screen, I'm going to type in step one. And uh, I would like to use the ring type for this one. So I'm done. I'm just going to click done. And then for the second screen, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw the dynamic flow progress. And then you would add the steps here again. And then you would type next step. And ring. Then in here, you're going to do the same thing. Steps. Next step would be step three. Indicator is ring. So now let's test our screen flow. And in here, um, you could actually add the, per the percentage. Get your pen. Funny, and then it only if uh, as you can see here, there's a help text that it could, this is only applicable to the ring and bar indicator types. So this one get to seventy. The last one would be one hundred. Now let's test again. There you go. And if you want to change how the layout, you could do try bar. Let's change here.
So those are the example um, on how you can use this dynamic flow progress. And I mentioned earlier that you could um, define um, your steps. Um, so you don't want to use steps um, and you want to do stages. Again, we're going to create a constant. We'll just call it stages. X, then open in progress. Ending. Completed. So here we're going to do open. Let's see, we want to do vertical. And we're going to change this to stages. See. Progress. Do debug. Oh, it's completed. Not close. So yeah. So that's how you'll be able to change the stages. So hopefully you found this video helpful and please let me know.